Hey everybody, it's Father Reeb, long time no talk, hope you're all doing well. It's been great to have you back in church. Wanted to send you a quick message for the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima, which is today, May 13th. 103 years ago today, Our Lady first appeared to three peasant children near Fatima, Portugal. And I just wanted to say a few quick words about, or have a couple quick reflections about the significance of that for us today. Number one, since we're in a time of pandemic, um, they were also, they also found themselves in a pandemic at that time, the Spanish flu. And actually two of the visionaries who saw Our Lady of Fatima appear were actually ended up dying very soon thereafter of the Spanish flu. So in a sense, they're blesseds, so they can intercede for us. So let's pray to them and ask them to help us during this time of pandemic. The other two things are um, about the message of Fatima itself. And the first thing I want to say about the message of Fatima is this, and that the message of Fatima can be sort of boiled down to two things. Number one, Fatima shows us the central role that Our Lady plays in the working out of salvation. Of course, Jesus Christ died for the world. He is the Savior of the world. But we all participate in that redemption. Each and every one of us are instruments of God's salvation. And Mary seems to be numero uno when it comes to those with the most, most graces to dispense. Um, she's been given a lot of graces. And she prophesied that this would be so because in the Gospel of Luke, she prophesied um, in her famous canticle that all generations will call, call her blessed. And so our generation continues to. So let's continue to call her blessed. So she has been given so much power in the working out of salvation in the world. And the second reflection that I have on the message of Port Fatima is this, that Devotion to Our Lady really is valuable, not only for ourselves individually, but also for the future of our race. So let's continue to have a devotion to the Immaculate One, to the Immaculate and Blessed Virgin Mary. Let's pray our rosary every day. Let's pray for sinners. Let's um, do penance for sinners. All those things which she asked us to do, let's do. And... The main thing that we do is continue to run to Jesus. And of course, Mary is the number one person to do that. She did that perfectly in her life, and she will continue to show us how to do it in our lives. God bless you. Happy Feast of Our Lady of Fatima.